A critical safety feature might have prevented the derailment. It's called positive train control. And while the government has made it a requirement to install it on all railways, Ryan Kath explains why it will still be years before it's fully installed in Greater Boston. Federal investigators say positive train control, or PTC, could have prevented some of the nation's worst rail disasters, like the 2008 collision of a commuter train and a freight train in Los Angeles that killed 25 people, and the 2015 derailment of an Amtrak train in Philadelphia. The technology is a safeguard against human error, relying on satellites, radio towers, and ground sensors to monitor a train's speed and location. If it detects a problem, onboard computers kick in to slow down the train or bring it to a stop. But the MBTA's commuter rail has a long way to go to get this safety feature up and running. Of the 394 miles of track in the system, only 38 are currently operational. That's along the Northeast Corridor Providence line operated by Amtrak. The technology requires 188 radio towers. As of late October, only 15 have been installed. 932 employees need to learn the system. So far, only 215 have been trained. So why the holdup? It all comes down to money. Transportation leaders called PTC an unfunded mandate. And just two weeks ago, the T finally secured the federal loans to complete the project. Nationwide, we need positive train control on all passenger routes. And it's because of the dollars that need to be spent that's delayed its implementation. The T plans to have all the equipment installed by the end of next year, and if they hit that mark, they should get another extension to have the system fully operational by 2020. Ryan Kath, WBZ News.